What, um, Paul Calgary addressed you guys today. Yeah. What was what was that like? What was the message? And did you know anything about? The, yeah. That? Yeah. They they spoke about him coming before, and it, for me, it's cool to see you know past players and uh, on the national team come and speak to us, uh, just to know their history, to know how you know how they shaped it up for us and uh, for myself as well, being one of the uh, newer players on the team. Uh, just his experience and how you know the teams before us was uh, you know really fought for for us uh, here today and uh, it was just a really cool experience. But that specific event, his his goal. His goal, yeah. Know? His goal was. Did was, you know much about that? Or I don't even think I was alive during that time, so yeah. I, I I didn't know much about it. But now just to see it and uh, to experience it through the videos, it was it was really cool for me to see. This is your third straight camp. How have you felt yourself grow in this environment? Yeah, it's, for me, it's un unbelievable to be here. I was actually talking to Weston uh, yesterday. I had a Snapchat memory uh, two years ago in two days when uh, the U.S. played Mexico in Cincinnati. Uh, I was actually at that game uh, watching the stands, and uh, I remember being in that moment. I was like, this is somewhere I, where I really want to be. I want to be part of this group. I want to be playing. And just to be here today uh, for the third straight time, it's just, for me, it's a dream come true. All these guys are amazing players, amazing people. So for me to, to watch them the b before and to be part of it now is just a really cool experience. How have you felt the attitude shift now that it's competition mode with Nations League? Copa America's final. Yeah, I can see everyone's locked in. Everyone's locked in. Everyone's focused. Everyone has a you know job to do, and it's to win these games. And uh, you know, it's really important for us to go out tomorrow and uh, the game in Trinidad to to play our best, to give everything we have. And you know, I'm really excited about it. Who'd you go to the game with? I, I went with uh, the owner of DC, Jason, and uh, Russell Canals, and also another DC United guy. Uh, he he, he uh, Jason texted me in the midday. He said, Kevin, what are you doing? I said, no, no, I'm not doing anything. He said, you want to go to the U.S. game tonight? I was like, yeah, but we're in Virginia right now, you know? He said, yeah, no, I, we take a plane real quick, and we go down, watch the game, we'll be back for training tomorrow and the next day. And I was like, sure, <laughs> let's go for it. And uh, I actually texted him yesterday, uh, you know, since it's uh, one of my, my, my times of playing. Uh, I actually texted him yesterday and I said, I would love to have you come, you know, just to, you know, me thinking about the moment and uh, you taking me to my, my my first experience and I would love to have you again. So, yeah, I texted him yesterday. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, considering this camp, if two big absences at the winger position with Christian and Tim Weah opens up possibilities for other people to step up. And how, how you kind of approach this camp mentality-wise, knowing that there could be bigger opportunities for you to get on the field and make an impact? Yeah, f two, two top players, uh, Christian and Tim, uh, players uh, I've watched a lot before. Uh, being around them, they taught me a lot. Uh, you know, being around them, they're really great guys. Uh, for them not being here, you know, this is my opportunity to, you know, do what, what I can do, uh, show, you know, the U.S. and everyone in the world that, you know, I can play as well. Uh, this is going to be, you know, a big opportunity, not just for myself, but everyone else on this team to, you know, really fight for this uh, Copa America spot. Has Greg said much about that in terms of going uh, how open the competition is for those spots these next few games? Well, it's not, not, not really much. It's just, we just got to go out there and do our job. We all have a job. We're all here for a purpose, and uh, we all can play. And uh, he has belief in every single one of the players that he, he brings in, and, and that's for me included. And, you know, if my time is to go out there and, and play, I'm going to give it everything I have. Trinidad will always be associated with Paul Calgary's goal, but also, unfortunately, the, the failure in 2017. But this is a different group. There's, you know, this team's been to a World Cup since then. I mean, did, does this group think about it at all? Does it ever discuss? Is it, you know? Is it extra special to play Trinidad given that history? Yeah, f for me, I, I wasn't, you know, obviously I was a bit a part of that the, that group or that experience, but, you know, uh, you can you can kind of feel the, for myself, I could kind of feel the spark and kind of feel the, uh, feel the feel of, of the team, of the staff, and, you know, how special this game is, uh, the history behind it, and, you know, what it did to U.S. soccer on that day. Uh, everyone's, you know, ready for to go out tomorrow and uh, do the job. Greg said the other day when he first watched you play, he thought, hey, you're the left back of the future. You played at left wing, you played at left back, left wing back. Where do you see yourself kind of as your best position? Where do you want to kind of develop and grow? What position? Man, I don't, myself, I don't even know. You just put me out there, I'm going to do a job. I'm going to do my best at it. Uh, I think that's what, uh, what makes me special as a player, that I can play multiple position. Uh, like I said, whatever is needed me out of the team, defense, attack, I'm going to do it. Last year you were mostly coming off the, the Last bench one, for, for Wolfsburg, um, and now you're, you're breaking through the starting lineup. What, what's changed? Like, what, what do you attribute that to? Yeah, uh, 
for being there almost two years, I had a lot of experience with the guys, uh, a lot of learning experience, a lot of you know down days, a lot of down days of not playing or not being in, in, in the squad. I think that's prepared me for this moment now. I knew as soon as I got my opportunity, I'm going to take the most of that out of it. And to get my first home start and scoring that game as well, it's definitely gave me confidence and uh, more belief that you know I can play in, in, in Europe as well and play with the you know tough opponents, play with uh, my teammates. So you know, I'm really I'm really happy how it's going right now. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.